In order to check the fuses, first locate the fuse box, press on the tabs and pull up the cover. If you flip the cover upside down, you'll see that there's a fuse chart. It might be difficult at first to identify the fuses based on what you see in this chart. A good way to start is to identify maybe two or three fuses. In this case, we're going to look at these two. So there should be two fuses there, an empty spot, and this. So that's not the case over here. So if you look down here, we got one, two fuse, an empty spot, and a third fuse. Hopefully, this fuse right here says ignition, and it's a 40 amp, matches with this. The next one is ABS, and it's a 30 amp fuse, matches with that one. We got an empty spot, and the next one is a 40 amp fuse. In this case, we want to check uh, the air conditioner fuse. If you look in this map, you can see that right there it says A conditioner. That's a 10 amp. So that, this fuse right here, this fuse strip should match with that. So a uh, 15 amp fuse, it's usually, 15 amp says right there, it's a blue fuse. And you can see we have two 15 right there and the third one is a 10 amp fuse. And the, that's the third fuse. So we're going to pull the fuse puller. And we're going to pull the air conditioner fuse. And there is the fuse. So now if you look carefully, you, you'll see a wire in this, uh, in this fuse. If that wire is disconnected, you need to replace that. Always replace it with an ampere rating. So in this case, it should be a 10 um, amp fuse. Never put a higher amp. So don't put a 15 or a 20 or anything higher. Once you get a replacement fuse, go ahead and uh, make sure it's pressing all the way. And that's all there is to checking the fuses. Um, just know that there is always uh, should be a few spare fuses in in the fuse box. If you look at this chart, we have a spare right there, two spares, and these three spares here. So the two spares, there's a 25, a 10, and then we have three more spares right here. Once you replace the fuse, put the fuse puller back in, and put the cap. And always make sure that the cap is. Locked in place because if it's not, uh, water can get in the fuse panel and cause corrosion and damage. Um, but checking the fuses is very straightforward. Uh, make sure your ignition is turned off as you do this. If you feel more comfortable, you can always disconnect negative battery terminal.